This is how to use the VPVR indicator on TradingView, which stands for Volume Profile Visible Range, plus a simple strategy on how to use this indicator to go ahead and enter trades in six steps. So get your trading view open, come to indicators, and then type in the word volume. TradingView's own indicator is this one here. They call it Visible Range Volume Profile, but it's the one we want. This is part of the paid version of TradingView. If you don't want to use that, this one right here, Volume Profile, is a community script, and we can use that as well. I'll leave a link below to a discount to the pro version of TradingView. Highly recommend it. I use it, and it's a great service and great value, but it's up to you. Right here, the VP indicator, which is a community script, is fairly similar to TradingView's own. You can see the spikes in volume at different price levels do coincide with TradingView's own indicator. So it's up to you which one that you use. From here, we'll look at TradingView's own indicator though. So we can come to the settings and we just need to know these three options right here. VAH, VAL, and POC. Volume area high, volume area low, point of control. These three things show us where most of the volume has traded. So volume area high is the high level right here. VAL, volume area low, down here. Within those two, 70% of the volume has traded for this time frame. This POC, that is the price at which the most volume has traded. So we know right here, between this, this is where the volume has traded and this level specifically. So what ones should you use and do you wanna use them at all? For me personally, I actually think that these two don't need to be used as much, but you can put them on and see if they're giving you any uh, important details for the time frame that you're looking at. Now from here, what we wanna do is actually focus in on the market phase that we're interested in. So what I mean by that is, if I'm looking at Bitcoin here, this market phase is way too long. I don't want to know where volume was really traded here or here because that's not too interesting to me. I want to know where the current market is. So what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I'm on a time frame that I like. So this market phase is actually what I wanna look at. This is the phase where we've had a sell-off, a reversal, a you know big move to the upside, and now we're getting some consolidation. So from here, I want to know where is the most volume traded in this time period, and then we can go ahead and actually make some trades around that. So how to read the VPVR? Well, what it's giving us is where is the most volume traded right on this price scale? And we can see that it's right here. You can see that by the POC line. We can also look at the price action, which is most of the volume has traded around here, and this seems to be some sort of resistance because we've moved up, we haven't got past this, and there's obviously a consolidation or resistance right here. So now we know that that's possible resistance. We can look down or above as well and see where is volume traded. Well, no volume has traded above, right? We're kind of at the top of a range. So this price action is suggesting a potential pullback or consolidation specifically for what we're looking at right now. You can see on the VPVR that really this level here, this level here seems to be a decent amount of trading volume, right? And then that's the lower range. So that could be a third level of kind of support if we're getting a, pull, a pullback and a drawdown right here. So that's how we use VPVR to simply give us now three price levels where we may actually get to. So what we can do is actually draw a box, a rectangle, and say this is potentially an area where price may get to on a potential pullback. Now let's use this six step process to see if VPVR can help us trade. Where has the price rejected from? We can see a rejection level here. VPVR is showing us that there is a lot of trade volume around this level. Price action shows us that buyers have been forcing the price up, but this is clearly a distribution point or an area where sellers are happy to take profits short term, and that could force us potentially to reject off this level. Number two, where has price traded before? VPVR shows us that there is some consolidation around this level, hence why I drew this box. 
with the volume area at low down here as another potential support area. But if we do break down through those, you're looking around this level here where we get some price action and some volume traded. So you can put that in as a much lower price level if you want. Where will traders come back in, right? So the support levels are where we think that you get a rejection, but traders will actually potentially come back in and start potentially uh, forcing the price up again, right? That's this level, which is why we draw that box, which is going to give us some price levels to potentially trade at. Number four, higher time frame confluence. So we're on the week chart, which is great. So what we can do maybe if you want to from here is zoom out a little bit and then get some uh, more volume data for here. So what we're looking at now is that this volume data is huge, but these price levels are so far away from the current price that it's slightly irrelevant. So what we're seeing is actually this price is important right here and we're gonna be coming down you can see this area here just coincides with the support and resistance level here. So I would say this level is extremely important to hold and it's probably gonna have a fight if it does get down there. Of course, if we break down, we're looking at this level where volume comes back in, which is 30K uh, as of making this video with BTC. So that would probably be a, a much lower support level for a really deep drawdown, but we're looking really more at this level right here as you know, volume uh, is going to come in at these levels, right? This level is a, is a completely different trading level. This is a different phase of the market. We're looking at this area, um, giving us confidence on that higher time frame. So this is giving me confidence that this is the area potentially to trade. The next thing I would do if you're trading crypto, which I do, is to look at on-chain data to show us which market phase that we're in. Very simply, this is free as well. So you can go to something like look into Bitcoin. This is showing me market phases of Bitcoin, massive expansions and contractions. We are in a potential expansion phase right now coming out from lows. So an expansion, as you can see here in the price action of BTC, that means we could potentially be in an expansion phase. And so I'm taking long positions, which means I want to wait for big dips to then try and buy those. You can see that dips occur in Bitcoin very regularly in bull markets around 30% or so. Then I can go back to the chart and this was a distribution point. This is the wick high. So let's take it somewhere in the middle of that and a 30% drawdown would be around 32. That would be a pretty big drawdown. Above that, you're looking around a 25% drawdown around the 34K level. Now I've got some pretty decent price targets for potential drawdowns and areas where I could get in. VPVR showed us that before and the on-chain is showing that we're in a, a, an expansion phase so I can take long positions on drawdowns. The sixth step is to go ahead and enter these trades. Now, if you're trading short-term, you can place the trades with your stop losses. If you're a long-term investor, you can just potentially wait for these better prices to dollar cost average in. We know that VPVR and our other analysis gives us a 35K level as a potential area to get in. So what we can do is either place these orders now with limits, or we can wait for the price to get to an area, potentially start reversing and try and catch the upswing. It's up to the individual. On OKX, you can get a deposit bonus. I'll leave it down in the description, up to 60K. It's basically a free trade if you're new. So check the details via that link. Not available in every country, so I'll leave details for the other exchanges I use. But from here, you can very simply make orders around these price levels that we got. So trade with a limit, 35K would be a limit for us. So you could put that limit in pretty easily, just with an amount that you'd wanna trade by long with that limit order at 35. So we could do that and then that order would be waiting for you. You could do that with a few limit orders to actually ratchet out your trades to get some decent levels, because as we know, if prices get here, maybe they whip down and we don't know what we're getting. So that's one way to do it. The other way, like I said, would actually be just to wait and hold back and wait to see where the price goes, if it dips down or whatever, we don't know, of course. And so what we can do is wait for those potential bottoms to come out, see the price reversing off of those, and then actually wait to put the orders in. So what we would do is go back and see how the price action is unfolding. See if those buyers do come back in and if it's starting to look like the phase is turning again to another expansion and then wait and actually take our positions then. It's two ways to do things. With stop losses, of course, we just have to manage that 
and we can see from here very easily the trade would be completely undone if we got in at 35 at what level does that trade become the wrong trade to make probably if it breaks below 30. So I'd give myself a lot of breathing room in this trade because that would probably be a big breakdown and something going wrong, but I would expect a lot of support coming in at that level. And so I'd put stop losses a little bit under this around the you know 29, 30 level, just in case. Obviously 35 and below is somewhere where you're actually getting into the trade. So you can either get in early or you can wait for the trade to actually reverse and give back some percentage gains and actually get in a bit later on a hopeful upswing.